Okay, so this third story. So there was this happened like two years ago. Okay, so don't think like I'm still fucked up or anything. So my my ball. What is like? Like two years ago, and chat. Got me super freaked out. Uh, I, I was trying to respond to the bits and I didn't hear. Like, there were people in chat that were like, Clint, what? dude. My, uh, my balls hurt really bad. Like, two years ago. And chat got me super freaked out. I thought that I had cancer for sure. Like, there were people in chat that were like, Clint, dude, I'm, I'm studying medicine for like the last seven years. I am positive you have... Louder? I... <sighs> I turned it up as high as it can go. What is wrong with his OBS? Okay. There. Answer. Like, it is just without a shadow of a doubt. It's really uh, freaking me out. So on my birthday, I went in to, like, a local clinic or whatever. You know, it's like loud. Dude, you... Okay. You guys can't... You can't lie to me in chat because I will believe it. And they had like a 65 year old man that like felt up my nutsack. And he was like touching around and he was like, Does this hurt? Does this hurt? Does this hurt? And then he touched like one spot on my nuts and it was just extremely painful. And he was like, Oh yeah, yep, I know exactly what you got, kid. So it wasn't. Nut cancer. He told me the rules of nut cancer. If you have a lump and you don't know what it, it doesn't hurt, you don't know where it came from, and it's not obviously one of your two nuts, you probably, you got a real shot at testicular cancer. That's bad. If you hurt, you're probably fine. So he said that my balls were jangling around too much and I was having too rough of sex, and I was like, yeah, that's it. That's totally it, dude. Too rough. So he said that I need to give my nuts some structure, some support. He was like, you're wearing boxers, you know? Those aren't gonna give your nuts any support, Guys, what man. is this? They're just hanging out. So he recommended I wear a jock strap. So I was like, you know what? I gotta take care of myself. I'm gonna buy a jock strap. So I go on Amazon and I buy this jock strap with like holes in it. And it was kind of funny because I get I kept getting recommended like gay sex stuff, you know? After I searched up jock straps, because apparently only the gays like jock straps. And I bought a jock strap with like holes and stuff in it. So that it Where would is this better, going? Which was, like, Where does the spoon thing, come into this? I just wanted it to feel better than like a typical one. So I get this jock strap. Why did and you guys want me so to watch weird. this? Like, I'm trying to like, there's like this pocket in the front. I'm like trying to fit my dick in it. I'm like, well, this doesn't really work. Like, guys, it'd be like ins what and then is this? I realized Why? it was for the uh, the cup. Yeah. So the front, if you guys are ever confused, is for the cup. It's not for your penis. Your penis just kind of hangs in front of it, and. Uh, I guess you could like put your wallet or like phone in the pocket if you really wanted to, but might be uncomfortable. So I wear the jock strap for a while and you know, I start feeling better, but I have to go to another doctor's appointment. So I get checked out by this like, I'd say 40, 45 year old woman. I don't know exactly how she is. And she's actually like pretty attractive. Like she's got, She's got nice thighs. She's got a pretty decent booty. Dude, what is Everything this? kind of meh, but it doesn't matter. I'm not looking at that. I'm checking out those thighs. And I'm like, damn. So, you ever wonder what happens when you're about to get your dick checked out? And you happen to, like, have a boner? No, this none of this is made up. Guys. They take out a cold spoon and start tapping the tip of your penis with it until you just eventually this get so the... uncomfortable that your erection goes away. So she breaks out the cold spoon on me, man. It's fucking awkward. 
Long story short though, my balls are okay. They are totally fine. If you ever wonder why people always ask me about my nuts, that story is why. That's the spoon story. Why did you make me watch that? 